What is up? All right, been playing around on the daughter's new project truck without her because she's at work. I just couldn't help but to go ahead and get started on accessing the clutch. So I didn't make recordings of it, but let's go ahead and uh, show you what I found here. And look at this, it's two clutches. There's your fan clutch, thermal activated, and here's the uh, transmission clutch. And it's not toast, but I do believe it's probably pretty thin. So we won't know until I go get the new one to compare it to, but it does look like that's getting kind of close to the rivets. Not too much, but it, it's, I mean, it still had a little bit of life left in it. But I'm hoping that the new one is way thicker and that it's going to bring the pedal closer to the floor. Uh, that being that it's going to take more pedal to release this clutch. So this thing was kind of a greasy pig. But, I mean, it can be expected. I did have to uh, go get transmission jack because I didn't want this odd shaped thing to fall on my head. So I got that. So This is pretty much it. Didn't take too long. Just a couple hours after work. Got that truck all up on four jack stands. The back wheels are actually on the ground. I just lifted the suspension a little bit to kind of level it out a little bit. And the front's just up a little bit. So most of these are 13 millimeter bolts that go around transmission and some are going the other way. Mostly on that side of the ones going the other way and one down here, I think. So it's out. Flywheel. I don't think anything's gonna be wrong with the flywheel. We weren't getting any vibrations letting out the clutch or anything, so I'm not gonna even worry about the flywheel. <laughs> um, this thing does look like it's been starting to leak some oil. I was worried about the rear seal. I heard those do start to go, but looking right here, I can see this is slathered at the oil pressure switch. So I should probably pick one of those up too. That's probably what's leaking oil on this thing. I actually had my F-150, my 2015. That went out and started leaking. Actually, it was, I didn't really see the leak. It was throwing a, it was going off when I was at idle, making the light come on. And, but it was the oil getting in there that was causing that. So those do wear out. This is kind of slimed. It's, I mean, it's not worse than anything, but it's probably the oil coming out of that freaking pressure switch. So this is the uh, hydraulic connection and this is the other one I have a glove around it taped on so also the other thing that's probably worn in this but I don't know we'll probably hold off on it but it's easy to get to is that I noticed that we got that jiggle going on in the speedometer so either the wire connection screwed or the sensor screwed I think it's the sensor because somebody kind of like RTV the connector on so I don't think it's making a good connection or something but it just looks like I'll wait till we get a new I'll put shaft sensor, but and that's it. I kind of got that off. Uh, drive shafts over there, and of course, uh, I'll have to make sure and put another disclaimer as usual that hey, I did not put this up as a how to. This is a another one of my show and tell videos to share with my peers. Okay, hey, you know, it's a project truck for my daughter and I. This is what we're doing. We're ch I'm changing a clutch so I can get a little more clutch pedal. Never put in the title. This is how to step by step take the transmission out and change the clutch. But I'll yet I'll put this video up on YouTube to share. And sure enough, there'll be snotty comments every freaking time of saying, "Oh, what good is this video? You don't show step by step." All oh, thanks for not showing me how you took this off. Blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, where did it say this is a how to video? It'd be different if I said this is a how to video and you know it was a shitty form of that anyway i'm gonna go see if i can get another clutch okay this is the new one there's the old one so when you first look at them they don't look a whole lot different but there's definitely more material on the new one and it's got some sort of springy things in it this is my first time having these auto adjusting clutches as they call it but there's definitely more girth on that one could get my uh, micrometer out, but you could see it. So, yeah. So I just got done coming down here to take a look at some of the pilot bearing. I don't think there was one in there. There was no pilot bearing in there. Here I am looking at my tools for what I was going to use to extract the old one. 
and there wasn't one. Huh. So what it looks like is that uh, the outer race is actually in there. So I'm trying to see if I get it out. There's no needle bearings, <laughs> just an outer race. Weird, the transmission didn't seem to be weird other than I just didn't like the, uh, <laughs> the height on the clutch release. Well, so here I am fighting this freaking uh, what's left of a pilot bearing. I had a feeling somebody just left that in there last time they did the clutch. This tool doesn't grab very well. It just expands against the inside. It doesn't have like a sharp, you know, little small enough area to grab behind the race. So it just grabs in the race. So right now I'm just kind of fuck trying to use different tools like that little air <laughs> chisel just to kind of trying to cut through one side of the race that way it'll collapse you know in and pop out so i'm just fighting it now wait for the air compressor to pump back up well i think i got it i just saw it actually rotate when i was just finishing cutting through with this i'm just beat keep uh grinding a point to this and i was yeah i thought i'd catch it yeah see it rotated again so well, it should come out now might even come out with a screwdriver yeah, fuck yeah, this motherfucker's costing me over an hour right now. So, <laughs> I had two stupid things on this project cost me time. There she is. And that's exactly what that is. That is the outer race. Now I didn't, looks like I did nick a little bit into that freaking crank, but it doesn't matter. Does it matter? This is uh, the new one. And it's gonna press in now after I clean that out. So. Yeah, so that's this here will turn it this way and, and spread now. But that was what's left of one of these. So that sucks. Alright, just clean that out and push that in there. I did cheat. Use one of these uh 3 8 head bolt for the transmission and just spin it backwards and this worked perfectly to go against the outside of that front of that race and tap it in there and get it started pushed it in there it's not pushed all the way back so next time the tool could probably be used but i think they also had that other one pushed all the way back so it doesn't need to be that's just a guy that holds your uh shaft uh center so it's not all just hanging on the bearings internal to the transmission <laughs> So, I don't know. Now, if you're doing this for a customer or something, you know, you would probably say, hey, do you want to change the throwout bearing? Do you want to change, you know, the slave, you know, cylinder, all that kind of stuff while we're in here? Uh, rear oil, <laughs> seal, everything, you know, while we're in here, all the labor intensive stuff. But it's ours. We could take it apart again later if we have to. But this isn't that oily. There's oil underneath things back here, but I'm still <laughs> convinced it's this freaking, it's just drenched at this. And I just went to the damn auto store again and forgot to get one of those. It'd be so easy to get to it right now. <laughs> so I might just do that. Okay, got the new pilot bearing in there. I'm ready to put this fucker on there. And, uh, you know, pretty normal things here. Ugh. Daughter had to leave again. Oh, I'm gonna need two hands, so no recording for this, but I'll be able to film doing this either because I need two hands but basically essentially you get these started by hand just enough to hold it on there and then uh, what you want to do is hold this pilot tool dead straight as much as you can in the middle as you start working around tight those because that's going to make a difference when you pull this out to getting this to stab in so that's what I'm going to do now all right, it's on there, and this is where you hope it's perfectly centered for when you stab the transmission. Add a little bit of grease to that pilot shaft, and then stick it in there. Okay, just taking it for a drive after uh, changing the clutch. And I don't know, I might have just changed the clutch a little early. It's pedal? Uh, it might be a little better, but it's not real close to the floor like I was hoping it would be. But it's also a little... 
this seem easier like it's now a little more slip i don't know if how to explain it but maybe she'll do better we'll find out when she actually drives it but i was hoping you know with the thicker clutch that means you got to compress it more which means that it would be closer to the floor as it started you know engaging just to make it easier for her to judge when when to expect you know the clutch action to begin but it's not so close to the floor like it was like i expected it to be i guess i'm saying but oh well you know now at least we know the clutch is not ready to fail and it did look like it had half the meat left on it I was just going to say, last time I stopped, it wasn't jumping. I thought maybe I inadvertently fixed that wiring on the speedo sensor, maybe. But guess not. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes when the daughter tries driving. She, she's been having to work most of the weekend, so I probably won't do any driving till tomorrow, which will be Sunday. Which one's going to stall it first? Me. <laughs> Remember, these Hold are the on, pair really that had to call me car. to rescue them because why? Why did you guys have to call me to rescue you that one time over at the mall? Really? Over at Metro Center. I had to drive over there. What happened? Because the e-brake was stuck. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> you, you have the e-brake on right now? Oh, I do. <laughs> and what gear is it in? What gear is it in? Don't hit your car the car. <laughs> Holy shit, give it some gas. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Go ahead and come to a stop right here so you can practice going again. I've been about to turn. Just, I know, just stop, stop. Use, you need to use every practice. First gear. Now you, get, now you need to get faster at judging when that clutch engages. And then right when you're lifting up, then start giving it throttle and it should be smoother. Right yeah, just start. Well, you, you need to learn in your mental. See where that started grabbing? You That's need to come mentally, huh? That's definitely closer to the floor, but it was. There it was, yeah, and I think it gives a little more travel of, of the total time it starts grabbing. It, it, wasn't, it isn't like way close to the floor, like I was kind of hoping, but I guess these aren't go that way. Hey, we're. Go left. Shit, said that name. Go left. Because that's just back through the hood. Jason said his Tacoma was the same way. So I'm just not used to these newer vehicles with the, I was used to the older cable ones mostly. Some with hydraulics, but even those old days used to be closer to the floor. There, that's better. But you just need to be faster at getting ready for that. So if you come to a four-way or whatever and you're waiting for somebody, what you should do is already start feeling for it, you know? That way, when it's your turn, you can go. So people ain't waiting for that five seconds that you're taking <laughs> to actuate the clutch. Huh? Maybe it gets my ass. No, I'm just saying. In leisure traffic, but when you're in those crazy areas where people give you shit, are you ready to go to a stoplight and try it? No. Nope. Probably should. I thought I'd take it behind uh, the road. Let's go up to the main road over here and go down it. Damn, your winch, this windshield needs to be clean. Dude. I need to find my roll of pipe foam insulation. Fine, leave it. I mean, if I just shove that around this trim, it'll clean this up. It'll look a little better. Yep, we're going backwards now. Shit. You should get you back there on that slant that you do slightly uphill. To me, it's like, so, it's like my impatient mind, it's like, it's taking forever. It's like, gives me anxiety just because it, like, you should already be going. It's like, not worry anxiety, just like, annoying, like, impatient. 